presentation on medicines for dermatological disorders. I, my name is Muhammad Ali Heather. I am a pharmacist, medical writer, and a trainer. Medicines for dermatological disorders and overview treating everyone. Today's topic of discussion is a treatment of dermatological disorders. These disorders refer to conditions that affect the skin, hair, nails, or mucous membranes, causing symptoms like inflammation, itching, pain, infections, or cosmetic cosmetic issues. Dermatological issues disorders are quite prevalent, with millions of people around the world suffering from them. According to Cleveland Clinic, there are over 3,000 different skin diseases that have been identified, and one third of the population experiences at least one skin disorder at any given time. These conditions can have a significant impact on the physical health, mental well being, and quality of life. Thus, it is crucial to diagnose and treat these conditions effectively. Exploring the various medicines used to treat skin conditions, there are several types of medicines that can be used to treat skin conditions, including antibiotics, antifungals, antiparasitics, anti inflammatory immune modulators, hormones, and more. Each type of medicines work differently, and it's important to understand how they work their common examples and possible side effects. Antibiotics. Antibiotics, these are the drugs that kill or inhibit the growth of bacteria that cause infections. Topical antibiotics like mucosin and clindamycin are commonly used to treat or prevent infections such as in hepatico, folliculitis, or acne. However, they may cause side effects like skin irritations, dryness, or allergic reactions. More skin, uh, serious skin infections may require oral or injectable antibiotics like penicillin, erythromycin, or doxycyclines. These antibodies can treat conditions such as cellulitis, abscess, or leprosy. However, they can cause side effects like nausea, diarrhea, or allergic reactions. It is important to use antibodies only when prescribed by a doctor or taken as directed as misuse or overuse of antibodies can lead to resistance or complications. Antifungals. Antifungals, these are the drugs that kill or inhibit the growth of fungi that cause infections. Some examples of topical antifungals include uh, etronazole, ketoconazole, and terbinafine. They are often used to treat conditions such as ringworms, athlete's foot, or jaw itch. Some possible side effects of topical antifungals are skin irritation, wetness, or stinging. Oral antifungals like fluconazole, nitroconazole, or trebinafine may be needed for severe or widespread fungal infections, or they may cause side effects like headache, nausea, or liver damage. It is important to use antifungals only as directed and for prescribed duration of treatment. Antiparasitics. Antiparasitics, these are the drugs that kill or inhibit the growth of parasites that cause infections. Some examples of topical parasites include uh, primethrin, uh, lindane, and crotermetone. They are all often used to treat conditions such as scabies, lice, or bed bugs. Some possible side effects of topical antiparasitics are skin irritation, burning, or itching. Oral antiparasitics uh, like avermectin or albumin. Nazol may be needed for more severe or systematic parasitic infections. However, they may cause side effects like dizziness, diarrhea, or liver damage. It is important to use antiparasitics only as directed and for the prescribed duration of treatment. Anti inflammatory. Anti inflammatory, these are the drugs that reduce inflammation and swelling in the skin. Some examples of topical anti inflammatories include. Corticosteroids like hydrocortisone, betamethasone, or clobetasone. They are often used to treat conditions such as asthma, prostatosis, or dermatitis. Some possible side effects of topical anti inflammatories are skin thinning, discoloration, or stretch marks. Oral inflammatories like prednisone uh, or uh, methotrexate may be needed for more severe or systematic inflammatory conditions. However, they may cause side effects like weight gain, mood changes, or immune suppression. It is important to use anti inflammatories only as directed and for the prescribed duration of treatment. 
Immunomodulators, these are the drugs that modify the immune system and reduce inflammation in the skin. Some examples of topical immunomodulators include uh, tacromycin or pencicromycin. They are often used to treat conditions such as a tropic dermatitis or vitiligo. Some possible side effects of topical immunomodulators are skin burning, itching, or infections. Oral immunomodulators like cyclosporines or azithromycin may be needed for more severe or systematic immunodeficient conditions. However, they may cause side effects like nausea, headache, or increased risk of infection. It is important to use immunomodulators only as needed and for a prescribed duration of treatment. Hormones. These are the drugs that affect the hormonal balance in the body and regulate the growth and function of the skin. Some examples of topical hormones include estrogen, progesterone, or testosterone. They are often used to treat conditions such as acne, hysteresis, or menopausal symptoms. Some possible side effects of topical hormones are skin irritation, dryness, or hormonal imbalance. Oral hormones like birth control pills or hormones replacement therapy may be needed for most. Hormonal conditions, however, they may cause side effects like headache, nausea, or increased risk of blood clots. It is important to use hormones only as directed and for the prescribed duration of treatment. Conclusion: In conclusion, when using any of these type of medicines, it is essential to follow the doctor's instructions and be aware of any possible side effects. We, by doing so, you can effectively treat skin conditions with minimal risk. You can contact me at my mobile number 0300-534-1906 and my email address is ali.denon at the rate of gmail.com. Thank you very much for your precious time. See you next time. Take care. Bye.